Michael Uslan speaks in comic book exclamations. Amazing, fantastic, incredible, uncanny. So it's fitting that he's curating the Comic-Con Museum exhibit, Excelsior, the life and legacy of Stan Lee. Stan was inarguably the most important editor and writer and co-creator of comic books and comic book superheroes in history. He and his co-creators, Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, and many of the other members of the Marvel bullpen actually have created our modern day mythology. The ancient gods of Greece, Rome, Egypt all still exist, except today, thanks to Stan and the group, they wear spandex and capes. You can see the origins of some of that mythology in Uslan's new Curator Corner. We have found absolutely historic pieces of original artwork, some of which I didn't even know were still in existence. That's because comic books were once deemed as disposable as yesterday's newspaper. They were looked down upon by society. It was considered the bottom rung. Starting in the mid-1950s, there was a public outcry in America against comic books. I mean, comic books were being burned, uh, reminiscent of Nazi Germany in the 1930s. And these artists had to endure that. Now, comic books are recognized as a legitimate and valued art form. Comic-Con Museum is celebrating four new pieces in its curator corner. And I have to start with what to me is like looking at the Mona Lisa of the comic book world. It is an original page of Jack Kirby art from 1963 from X-Men number one. So that's my wow item for starters. Second is something that is incredible because it is the one and only issue of a comic book. It was Iron Man and Submariner, number one and only. In addition, we've located the original artwork to the cover of The Inhumans, number one, and The Invaders, number one. Now, The Invaders was a golden age group of superheroes, and when I say golden age, I'm talking about World War II. As the late founder and editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics, Lee helped usher in a new generation of superheroes that readers could identify with because they dealt with such real-world issues as racism. For me and for most of my friends and my kids and my kids' friends growing up, everybody really truly believes that these comic books helped mold our own sense of ethics and morality. What a gift to give to one generation of children after the next. And that's one of the important things that Stan and his co-creators accomplished that they really don't get enough credit for. But you can appreciate the legacy of Lee and his co-creators with the newly expanded Comic-Con Museum exhibit. Enough said. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts and culture reporter, and I cover everything from the Comic-Con Museum to film reviews. So check out the playlist and subscribe. That's all, folks.